In this problem, we've got this piece of paper that we're folding over, and we're going to try to minimize this fold over here, this Y. Now, if we were to fold this paper, we see that this corner would match up with this corner, this length would match up with that length, and of course, this length would match with that length. We'd also have to notice that this triangle is actually similar to this triangle, and they're going to have the same edges over here. It's going to help us a lot. Now, this is a regular piece of paper, so we've got basically eight inches across here, and therefore, this would be x minus or 8 minus x on that side and then this would be a length of 11 but that's not really going to matter too much so first uh let's try to solve for this particular side right here um so because we're going to want to use these two uh similar triangles to help us solve this problem um so usually we would go like x squared equals um you know 8 minus x squared plus uh, whatever that length square, because this is the hypotenuse. Um, but we're going to solve for L. So we're going to say L squared equals uh, X squared minus X minus 8 squared. And then we'll have a square root here. So if we were to try to solve for this X squared minus, um, I guess we got 64 minus 16 X minus X squared. So plus X squared. Uh, still square rooted here. We'll see that these things are going to go away. And we're going to be left with... Um, Essentially, that L equals uh, 4 with a square root of x minus 4. And so we figured out what L is. So it's 4 and the square root of x minus 4. Um, now we're going to go ahead and use the similar sides here. So we can say that this long side over 8, um, this is the hypotenuse over the sort of the longer edge over there, um, is going to be like uh, z divided by 8. That's going to be equal to the same thing here, like the hypotenuse divided by the longer side. So that would be um, x divided by 4 screwed x minus 4. Because they're similar triangles. And so now we could solve for z, putting 8 over here. And uh, try to solve for the z it would be equal to 2x divided by screwed x minus 4. And uh, with that... Let's try to solve for y now, because we technically know that y squared is equal to x squared plus c squared. And so y squared would be equal to x squared plus 4x squared divided by x minus 4. So now that we have that, we're going to try to minimize this uh, thing. Now, we don't really have to take the square root of this if we're going to try to minimize y. This is really nice. It's a little shortcut. We can just minimize y squared. And then that'll still give us the minimum y. So let's not worry too much about that. And uh, let's minimize this function here. But first of all, we arrange it. So we've got um, x squared times x minus 4 divided by x minus 4. And then we'll add 4x squared divided by x minus 4 to that. So we get it on the same denominator here. We'll end up with the x to the third minus 4x squared plus 4x squared over x minus 4, giving us x to the third over x minus 4. And um, then we can take the derivative here uh, and, and try to set that equal to 0. So, so the derivative of this is going to be, let's see, x minus 4, and then 3x squared minus um, x to the third, is 1, and divide that by x minus 4 squared. Um, we'll set that equal to 0, which means that we don't really care too much about the bottom. We could get the undefined uh, version here, but um, it's more going to be the top side. So let's deal with this one. It's just going to be uh, um, x minus 4 times 3x squared is technically equal to x to the third. And therefore, we get 3x to the third minus 12x squared equals x to the third. So technically, we see that 2x to the third equals 12x squared. And so, x equals 6. Good stuff. So, if x equals 6, then we can plug it back into here. And we could say that z equals 12 divided by... Uh, the square root of 2. Um, okay, so that's fine. And then if we wanted to figure out what y squared was, let's see, y squared would be equal to x squared plus z squared 
Um, so we'd have 36 plus 144 divided by 2. And then now we could figure out what y is if we square root that. So that would give us the true minimum value for y. Um, so that would just be 36 plus 144 divided by 2. And uh, so we would get y equals 10.39. Uh, or uh, 6 squared root 3. That's going to be the minimum value for y.